Local coverage you can count on continues with Dirk Rowley. You're watching Wayne 15 News, Nightcast at 11. Blackhawk Christian graduate Caleb First is majoring in biomedical health sciences, so he's no pushover in the classroom or on the basketball court. The sophomore at Purdue, the Summit City native, has been a fixture in the Boilermaker starting lineup this season. Sports director Glenn Marini goes one-on-one -on -one with Blackhawk big man, who's been a big key to the Boilermaker's success. First off, Caleb, uh, when you talk about this season and you guys start the season unranked and then all of a sudden in December you're 10-0, number one in the country, what has that been like to uh, prove the doubters wrong to a certain certain extent? Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, obviously, though, I'd say like we, we believed in ourselves from the beginning and we kind of knew what we were capable of. Um, but definitely to be, able to, to be able to go out and actually win those games, um, and to kind of show it, like you said, it's, it's definitely a cool experience. Purdue basketball, what's your favorite color? Your performance in the Elf Skits was uh, pretty epic, man. How did that come about? And I talked to your mom after they happened. I texted uh -huh. her, and she said she was going to get the poster framed for you. Did that happen for Christmas? Uh, I think so. She had me, like, sign one, and, and it's somewhere. I don't know. I haven't really seen it. <laughs> but, um, no, they just they kind of asked me. I think it might have been last year. Um, they're like, hey, like next year, would you be down for this? And then I kind of forgot about it until in October. They, you know, they they had a suit ready for me and everything, and I was like, oh, we're for real doing this. So it was fun, though. It was it was a fun experience. Babinski. Whenever I talk to Luke Goody, he calls you Dutch. Mm -hmm. Has that nickname matriculated from Fort Wayne to West Lafayette? And why is that your nickname? Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> well. When I was when I was younger, my mom always called me her little Dutch boy, um, and then it kind of had a resurgence in, in high school with Coach Davidson because he loved nicknames. So he asked me my freshman year if I had any nicknames when I was younger. I told him it was Dutch, and so that's kind of what it was. People throughout high school always called me Dutch, but um, there's a few people here and there that call me it. Um, but no, not nearly as much. It's my uh, it's my gamer tag though, and all my video games for sure. Oh, there you go. So it is important. Uh -huh. um, Zach Eady has got to be the front runner for Player of the Year nationally. What's it like not only to play with him but to play alongside him? And are there ever moments where you like, man, I'm glad this guy's on our team? <laughs> oh, every day, every day. Um, no, playing with him is awesome. I'm, I feel like I've said all the time that, you know, we trust him to make the right decision. Um, you know, obviously we played through him a lot, and so we trust him when the ball's in his hands to make the right decision, whether it's score, pat, kick it out, um, dumping down for an easy layup, anything like that. And, you know, he's consistently proven over and over throughout the season that he's going to do that and continue to do that. It's Glenn Marini reporting. Now, some interesting news to add from the first household, Caleb's young brother, Josh, currently a senior at Blackhawk. He just announced he'll join the Purdue program next year as a walk-on, so the first brothers will be teaming up in West Lafayette, where it will be a true family affair at Mackey Arena starting next season. Nicholas.